Hey there, Blake Marar, broker with Phoenix Sotheby's International Realty. Today we're gonna be looking at Mont Blanc. This is 146 Montgomery. It is new to the market. It's been on the market about two weeks. This house is just over 9,000 square feet. Six bedrooms, six full baths, three half baths. It's all concrete construction. It's actually considered fortified. It's built to that standard. And this house is new and beautiful and I think you're really gonna enjoy it. Really a Grecian architectural style. The correct term is kaikladic, which is Grecian architecture that you would find in the Mykonos. So that was the inspiration for this particular home. Let's take this in. Got a courtyard. So three car garage. This right here is a two car. And then here is the single. Uh, we've got, we've got light. So let's go inside. Got an amazing stairwell that is floating and is an absolute work of art. And it's finished with smooth Venetian plaster. As you'll see, a lot of the a lot of the walls have that finish on it. Um, these walls right here are stone with about seven or eight coats of plaster made to look old but let's uh let's just go upstairs we'll come downstairs in a bit we'll finish downstairs really Nice space here. So this is all living. I like this fireplace. Understated. Window configuration brings in a lot of natural light. detail on the ceiling is, you know, hand-hewn beams. And then this wood here is eucalyptus wood that looks like it's got a driftwood finish. Quite nice. The countertop is waterfall quartzite. A 60 inch wolf commercial range. storage. Again, the, the hand hewn beams are carried throughout. And then a refrigerator that's really hidden around the corner out of plain sight. I've got a sub-zero refrigerator and freezer. And what we have here is a caterer's kitchen. It is a really nice one at that. And I think what's really brilliant about it is you've got a, you've got the elevator that comes into this room. And so the idea is the caterers and the staff, anybody that'd be sort of catering to guests would be able to come and go and operate in this room without disturbing any guests. This is really a scullery kitchen, but just absolutely beautiful. All the cabinet fronts are wrapped in stainless steel. Look at these appliances. Got a, a Wolf microwave, a matching steamer, a uh, warming drawer, and this looks like a 48 inch Wolf range here. Pot filler, just like the one in the kitchen. And then we've got a matching Sub-Zero refrigerator and freezer. I like it. This is really functional and um, spectacular kitchen. 
this is a obviously a, a wand cooler here this is just really nice also like the, the archway and you can see how this is all done in that venetian plaster which takes a real craftsman to get down to but what it does is it really provides a lot of shine little sheen that ends up reflecting the natural light and just sort of amplifies the natural light within the room uh, we also have access to the the balcony so we're in Seagrove Florida we're about a mile not quite a mile east of Seaside And the neighborhood of Sea Highlands is situated at about 90 feet of Gulf frontage. They open up this view corridor. This is the dining. So it looks like we've got room for 10 to 12 right here with an amazing backdrop of the Gulf of Mexico. I'll take two, please. And then we've got this archway, which really, I think, is really cool. It's got some depth and dimension pronounced with this arch and the backlit areas of this, this stone really shows the texture of that, so. Let's see what we have here. We have a ice maker storage really nice and something we don't see a lot of or actually ever we have a, a half bath nice tile selection all these selections of, of fixtures and, and marble tile and all of the hard surfaces were selected by Erica Powell with Urban Grace I'm a big fan of hers she actually designed my the interiors in my home so she does great work more of the venetian plaster this is a really a large bedroom that could be set up as a a secondary den or certainly a bedroom all the bedrooms have ensuite baths Zero threshold of the marble that carries on the floor and then up the wall. And really a, an exterior smooth finish stucco, double vanity, quartzite countertops. I love the brass. I remember Erica, this has been six years ago, she had specs some brass out for me. And I wasn't quite ready for it. I was like, look, I know brass is coming back, but I don't think I'm ready for it. So walking through this space, there's another two bedrooms. So a total of six bedrooms. We just looked at um, one and, and we're looking at this other one. This is, this is the bunk room. So you'll see they mixed it up with some butt jointed painted wood walls. And there are four Room for four queen bunks. Nice art archway and access to the upper two. And then if we just step back and look at this, got a transom window. Ceilings here are 12s and uh, eight foot barn door. Um, and at this bathroom with a, okay, a trough form sink. The oversized subway tile that was made by hand. Great job of the selections. And then again, can you look at this Venetian plaster, how you can see the reflection? And then the hand hewn header. Nice touch. walk-in closet already built out I love 
this room. South facing, great views to the south, southwest. They were not stingy with the windows. I love the configuration, I love the color. The color of those windows and doors. And then here's the bathroom. So pretty. Oh yeah. Love the colors of the marble. This is just really easy on the eyes. Loving it. And then this is all open, open, just zero threshold and uh, is really good size. I don't know if you can get a sense of the size, but it's got plenty of room in here. Love this bathroom. Got a boat out there. Let's go up to the third level. So you stop on this landing. You've got a really nice view corridor. Master Suites. We're gonna go straight and just check out this master bedroom. Generous in size. Got some more eucalyptus wood. It was also used in the accent as we came in that came in the uh, that hallway. Good sized balcony, dedicated exclusive to the master bedroom. And this is cool how this, this area was opened up to just maintain your views to the west. It's just more of a teaser to the pool that we'll check out last. Beautiful day. I want to point something out to you. This door is a nano style door, which means this all opens up and really brings the outside inside. So that, that wall just completely opens. All right, master bad. <laughs> Love this. So what do we have? We've got beautiful marble on the floor frameless glass and then we have this these these chaises just two chaises that that are heated that are ergonomic and quite tempting and a soaker top his and her showers and this view is spectacular and then check this out. What master bath is complete without a hydro massage table? Yes. Thank you. Double vanities, obviously. This is really pretty. Japanese action there. These archways are just beautiful. So morning kitchen, a little coffee, a little water. Could have cocktails there. That is a wet bar. Well, and then we have this beautiful closet. It is just our generous in size. Dressing area. Dressing mirror, island, just all the room you need here.
washer and dryer dedicated to the master. And then we have a sneaky little shower. Wouldn't expect this. Shower with a rain head. This is wonderful. And then complemented with a full sauna. I love the way they smell. So nice. Well done. Thank you for doing that. All right, let's continue. I'm mean, just reminded of this entrance, the real sense of arrival. I just about hate to leave that. There is another full laundry on this level. Love that color. The blue is so pretty. Full size washer and dryer. Another guest bedroom. It is just the right size. Love the window configuration again. Southwestern views. And another full bath. There's really just no, no short straw bedroom in the house. They're all, all just really just great locations in the house, great views. The thing I love about the selections here is look how detailed this is. But yeah, look how subtle. It's really understated. Alright, I'm gonna go check out the fourth floor. Wow. The spectacular views. Love that pool. Nice to see that looking down. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we've got banquet seating. Love this bar. Length with these hand-hewn beams. Great for entertaining, so really just an informal Entertaining living area. And these views. Wonderful. Let's go outside. All right. It's a lot of room to entertain out here. Love this, very cool. Never seen this done, actually. Just a good way to screen so you're able to sort of get out of the sun here. These views are just spectacular. Plunge pool, which I'm love to get into. It just frames up the views just just miraculous views. And all the floors or all the decking is, is Ipe, which is what you want. Just imagine. Love this. What a great way to finish. It's a great perch up here and a treat. Now, oftentimes there's just not enough up here, whether it's a bathroom missing or just enough to do, but with this, in, this uh, living area up top, just really a place that is comfortable to spend a lot of time up here. And the bathroom. But updated. 
until we've got all of the, the stone here. And if you look at this opening, it's so cool. Because it looks like we just chiseled this out almost and just literally looks hundreds of years old. And the elevator comes up to the top floor to service this so everybody can get out of here. Well, what do you think? I am a fan. Love to know what you think. And again, just looking down this stairwell. Just a work of art. Let's go downstairs. I promised we were gonna finish on the first floor. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's do it. Here we are, first floor. We have really a informal living area. Wow. That has the nano doors that open up and really bring the outside inside. Banquette seating, this would all be living area. Uh, I'm excited to get outside. First, let's take a look. Refrigerator, ice maker, and then two washer dryers, and a laundry sink, and a half bath. Okay. This is really perfect. So you come in from the pool through here, and then use the restroom. So, and then the elevator, which you can go up top too. I just love the way this frames out and how with this wall completely open just really brings the outdoors in. And then this detail here, if you just look at the stone header and then we look at that detail again. I really like that. And then let's go check out this First floor bedroom. Nice how they arch this in, inset. Niches up top. This is wide enough for a king. So that works out really well. You have access to the pool, and again, you have great natural light throughout this entire home. And uh, walls are treated with the smooth Venetian plaster. Wow, this is romantic. I love this. I love the backlit mirrors. Now it really makes those stone walls come alive. The builder, Scott Barnes, Barnes Development, was really the, the vision behind this and he really realized a lot of a, a lot of dreams doing this one. Okay. Got this detail here. If you look to the left, I've got a little cafe area. small little spa, just perfect. And then very dramatic pool with columns that are submerged. And on the very west end, a sun shelf, all with a backdrop of the Gulf of Mexico. So we can walk out across this bridge All grass out here. I could see this with some zoysia. It'd be really quite luscious. But just let's take all this in. Do a little 
panorama of the Gulf today is just a spectacular day. Spring has been tremendous. If you want to see more tours like this, go ahead and push the subscribe button and I'll be bringing more to you shortly.